Hi folks, this is Sandy from Creative Chaos. Uh, I'm just doing this video because I, I wanted to uh, get the news out there about a new swap that I'm hosting. Um, it's a called a Tags That Travel Swap. And um, we have a small number of people at this point, um, international, and we're trying to build the group to have more artists participate. However, before I get into all the details, I should probably tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a stamper. I mean, I started out as a stamper in uh, 1998. I was a newbie who knew absolutely nothing about anything related to stamping. Uh, I gradually, uh, well, I didn't actually gradually got, get hooked. I was hooked right away, I guess. And um, I spent the last almost 22 years um, hobbying, crafting, enjoying um, the arts that are associated with stamping and mixed media. Um, as my skills grew, I um, began selling my creations at some of the local uh, gift shops here in the area. I did that for approximately 16 years. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, my cards sold really well, but once it becomes a business, it kind of loses some of the fun. Um, anyway, I decided after some changes in my life and whatnot um, that I would get out of selling my cards retailer consignment um, that I want to try a different platform. So what I have been doing for the last couple of years is I'm still crafting at uh, 100 miles an hour, um, but uh, I make cards and donate them to a local agency. Uh, they use them for fundraising. And uh, of course, the cards that I make that are left over, I use for personal use. Um, as well, during the last probably seven or eight years, um, I kind of wandered into the mixed media world uh, and again was firmly bitten and uh, hooked. Um, I have participated in n numerous swaps over the years. I started out with altered books when altered books back in the day were the thing. Um, then I got into ATCs, um, four inch, I don't know what they call them, art, collage art, I guess, uh, the four inch square size. Um, I also got into round robins and uh, journals, uh, tags. My latest obsession is um, journals, uh, junk journals as well, and of course tags. Uh, I am in a swap group uh, with a gal down in the States, quite a large group actually, um, and uh, for ATCs, which I haven't made for a while, so that should be fun. Um, anyway, those are the kinds of things that I do. I love getting coming up into my art room and just I lose myself um, in the joy of creating and uh, it just becomes so mindless I don't have to think about anything uh, and it's so um, it's just very gratifying uh, and I can see over the years how my art has improved um, not to blow my own horn but I mean I think that's inevitable when you're doing projects like that. I wouldn't, I hesitate to call myself an artist, although I'm trying to, uh, compared to so many other people um, on the internet and in various groups, but you know, uh, what do they say? Comparison is the thief of joy or some silly thing like that, which is so true. So anyway, we're working at calling ourselves artists. Um, okay, so that's me. I'm retired. I live in um, just outside of Vancouver, British Columbia uh, in Canada. And uh, basically, everything's wonderful in my world. Um, <laughs> my little corner of paradise is pretty good. Um, yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about the swap. The swap was, the template that I used was for this Amy, and I'll try to put, it's so silly, I should know her name. Uh, I'll try to put her um, information in the, uh, in the information down below. Um, basically, I've pretty much used her template because she obviously knows what she's doing and she's got it down to a fine art. So basically what it is, is I called it Tags of Travel and each, it's a three for three swap, each person, each artist creates three tags 
they mailed them to me. I swap them out and mail them back to the participants. Um, basically, you would include, if you were in Canada, you would include a self-address stamped envelope when you send in your tags so that I can put uh, the tags that are being swapped out to you in your envelope and mail them back to you. Um, if you're uh, international, uh, for the short term, I will be picking up the cost of the return postage to you just because it gets too complicated at our end um, to know how much something is going to cost and then to tell you how much I want you to send in. So we're just not even going to go down that road. Um, it's not going to be a hardship for me with a small group to do that. If the group gets really big, which keeping our fingers crossed, that's what's going to happen, then we may have to revisit that. Um, so the, the tags are three, three for three. No, no, um, no, really no rules other than um, you have to put your information on the back. You can pretty much make no theme. You can make whatever card you want. Um, it goes without saying it can't be racist or vulgar. Um, but other than that, um, you can make them all the same. You can make them different, whatever you want, because they're not going to be going to the, the same people. All three won't go to the same people or the same person. Um, okay, we've got three for three, no theme, uh, mail to me, I swap out, deadlines. Okay, so we run starting, this is our first month. So <clears throat> this is November swap month, first swap month number one, if you will. So the tags would be in my hand, have to be due to me by the 21st of November. Uh, I will then swap them out on the 30th of November, send them back to you in the mail, so you will get them in December. Month two is January. You would get your tags to me by the 21st of January. I swap them out and return them to you your different tags to you. I uh, do the swapping out at the end of January. In March, to me by the 21st, swapped out at the end of March, so on through the months. So the, the swaps would run are running November, January, March, June, sorry, March, May, July, September, and November. And then through the cycle again. Um, no theme as I said, uh, I think, I think, I think that's about it. Um, I have an information file, um, which if you're interested, I can send you if you would like to join. You can join either by going to our Facebook page, newly created Facebook page called Tags That Travel, and you can join through that page, or you can contact me. Uh, either through the comments on this video or you can email me at my personal email address which is tequila.margs at gmail.com again tequila.margs at gmail.com again t-e-q-u-i-l-a dot m-a-r-g-s at gmail.com. I'm going to show you a few samples of some of the, the tags that I've made in past. I think one of the things that I really like about them is that they make up so fast and you can use a lot of your scraps and little bits and pieces of treasures that you've been hanging on to but didn't know what to use them on. Um, I did a challenge to myself. Uh, I did three months of tags. It was supposed to be a year but it just I got too far behind. But it was really fun. I enjoyed it. And um, so anyway, without further, let me show you some of the work that I'm talking about when I talk about tags. Now, everybody has their own style and they will make the tag in their own style. Some might be very simple. Some might be very ornate. Some might be abstract. Some might be zentangles. Some might be whatever. It's the sky's the limit, which I think is great because this stuff is very soothing. Now I prefer, this is a personal choice, it's not a requirement in any way, shape or form. I prefer the larger tags. Um, 
because I think it's a nice compromise between smaller and and you know a full page. Um, the only thing you have to bear in mind is that uh, if you make them too big and heavy, then it's going to cost much more to ship. But um, I think these are six by four, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. This is fun to make. I'll just tell you, this is usually my size, something like this. And I make my own tags, so these from scraps. These, This is three and a half wide by six and a half long. Now, you don't have to go this big. You can go smaller if you want. But basically what we don't want is we don't really want anything that's much smaller than this. And this is the size of a business card. But again, you know, um, we're not going to worry about what might be until we see what we get. And then if we need to make some changes, we can. So again, if you wish to join us, please, sorry about that. If you wish to join us, you can contact me through my email. You can, or you can go to the Facebook page. Uh, once you go to the Facebook page and sign in, I will get a notification or join. I will get a notification. The swap requirements are posted on the Facebook page already, and um, I can send you a text file if you would like one. Um, rules are posted there as well. Um, if you know anyone who you think might be interested, regardless of their skill level, and they would like to participate, then please, by all means, um, pass this information on to them. We would love to have them come and join us. I think that's all I have to say. I'm not going to ramble on all day about this because um, I'll just end up repeating myself. But um, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come and join us and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.